Hi, this is Erica with CramFighter. CramFighter is a simple software tool that med students can use to create a personalized study schedule for their board exams. Today, I'm going to show you how to use CramFighter to create a two-month study schedule for the USMLE Step 1. Visit CramFighter.com to sign up for a free seven-day trial and build your own schedule, no credit card required. You can also visit our site at CramFighter.com to download a free Excel version of a sample schedule as a starting point. Here's what the Excel version looks like for a two-month sample schedule using the four most popular Step 1 resources we see customers adding to their schedules at CramFighter. UWorld, First Aid, Pathoma, and Sketchy. In the Excel version, work is broken out by book and lecture tasks and UWorld questions, and each task is labeled with exactly what material to review in each task. Again, this is just a sample or suggested schedule that you can use as a starting point to build a schedule that'll get you through all these resources in the time allotted. Okay, so let's get started. I've already signed up for a free trial account at cramfighter.com and I'm landing here on the very first step that you will typically see when you start building your schedule after you sign up for the free trial. This is where you add the exam that you're taking and enter your exam date. Cramfighter will, Cram will actually work backwards from that exam date to assign you study tasks. So this being April 23rd, my exam date is roughly two months from now, so it's going to occur on June 21st. I'll add that exam to my schedule. On this next step, this is where you add study blocks. Now, study blocks are defined periods of time used to cover the resources specified. Study blocks can kind of be considered smaller schedules in an overall schedule with a specific goal to be accomplished. For example, you can set it up with a period of light studying versus heavy studying as you get closer to your exam, or you could set it up where you have maybe two weeks where you want to spend getting through first aid as a first pass. It's totally up to you. The study schedule that we're creating, the two-month study plan that we're um, working off of, actually has two study blocks set up, and they're divided up across the eight weeks of the schedule. So the first study block goes from today till approximately May 22nd. On the next step, you enter in any catch-up days and unscheduled days where you don't want CramFighter to assign you study tasks. We do recommend that every student bakes in periodic catch-up days on a regular basis so that they can use those to do just that. It's inevitable you're going to fall behind on your study plan, so it's good just to have a set day where you can use that day to have no officially assigned study tasks, but you can use it to catch up on fallen behind ones. So we allow you to set it at these different frequencies so you can choose what suits your liking and also what day of the week you want these periodic catch-up days to occur. On this page, you can also enter in any practice exam days or tell CramFighter additional unscheduled days that you know you're not gonna be able to do any studying. So it will black out and not assign you any study tasks on those days. I know that this person is going to have two practice tests one is going to be on day 10, so let's just enter those two. So day 10 from today is approximately May 3rd. And then their second one is going to be on day 28, so NBME 2. And that is going to be on May 22nd. And you can repeat this process if you know you have multiple NBMEs that you want to schedule in or other assessments. On the next page, this is where you start adding in the resources that you plan on covering in this study block. The way this sample schedule has been set up is two different blocks to go through all your resources. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding them one by one. You can, if you want to, scroll down this giant list of resources that we support, or you can use the search box and let the predictive text bring up the resource for you, which is the much easier option. My first is going to be UWorld, and I'm going to tell it that I want to get through 40 questions every day in this study block. So you go through and you can customize the days of the week with the number that you want to get through. You can alternate it if you want to have heavier UWorld days on weekends, it's up to you. The next resource I'm going to add is First Aid for the USMLE 2019 edition. You can either cherry pick the different chapters of the book that you want to add to your study block, or you can just do in one fell swoop with this button and select all the chapters. 
You'll repeat this process for all the resources that you need to add. So the next one we're going to add is the Bethelma Lecture Series. Similar to any book resources, we break out lectures in sort of chapters, and you can either cherry pick those or select all. And finally, we're going to add Sketchy Micro. One more lecture series. Once again, select all those chapters, scroll down to select them all, and they'll be added to your study schedule. So once you have everything added, you see you have a list building over here. Once you have everything added, you can hit continue to progress to the next step. On this page, this is where you tell CramFighter the order that you want to be sent study tasks. You can tell CramFighter by dragging and dropping and reordering the different body systems. Like if you want to focus on a weaker body system first or put your stronger stuff first, it's completely up to you. This is the order in which Cram Fighter will group everything together for you once it starts building your schedule. On this page, this is where you tell Cram Fighter how many hours that you want to spend on each type of resource each day. Now this person, I know that in the study schedule, they actually had six book and lecture hours per day and three QBank hours. So we can go ahead and we can modify this so that it is updated to what reflects the study plan and how many hours that they're going to be working each day on the book and lecture studying. And finally, we land on the summary page where you can review all the information that you entered on the previous steps. Each one of these is hyperlinked, so if you need to go back and edit anything on this study block, you can do so right here. At this point, we could finish and view our schedule and look at what Cramp Fighter has generated so far for this particular study block, the April 23rd to May 22nd. Or, because we want to go ahead and create our second study block right now, use this option right now and click Add Another Study Block. This one just defaults to the name Study Block 2, it defaults the start date to be the day after the end of our first study block and the end date to be the day before our exam. So if those dates look okay, you'll hit create study block. Same as before, you'll go through the same process for these five steps to enter in all the resources and the different facets that are custom to this particular study block. If you had any more practice exam days scheduled, you would enter them here. But for this person in the second part of their two month study plan, there is no more practice exams, but you could do so by adding those additional dates here. These ones are just carrying over from the first study block for our reference. If you also wanted to, similarly to before, you could add in any days off that you want to tell Cram Fighter that you need to block those days out and have no tasks assigned. And you can also have the periodic catch up days as we mentioned before. I'm just going to leave that as every second Wednesday for now. On this page, we return again to the resource selection page. And for this particular study block, they are basically going to just repeat all the same resources one more time, all the way through. So you'll repeat the process of looking for and adding the different resources to your study schedule, same as we did before. So I finished adding in all the resources and repeating that process that we did for the first study block. And here's the summary of my second study block for May 23rd to June 20th, with my exam date being on June 21st. So I have everything entered that I, that I had added on the previous pages. Again, if I need to edit anything, I can hyperlink back to the respective page. And at this point, we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to click Finish and View Schedule and let Cram Fighter create my daily study plan for me. And here it is. In a matter of minutes, Cram Fighter has created a very granular and detailed daily study schedule for you that tells you exactly what you need to get through in all of your resources on each day up until the date of your exam. As you can see, it grouped together items from the different resources that are, in this case, specific to the respiratory system. And then here we see our 40 UWorld questions mm -hmm. popping up. Other days are similarly grouped together. If you wanted to, Cram Fighter offers you the option to print out a PDF of your study schedule so that you can, if you're away from your computer for any reason or not able to get online, you can still view your study schedule tasks, still be productive. 
as you go through in real time and you actually complete your study tasks, you'll check them off and they'll show up as grayed out in your study schedule. It's good to keep in mind that cram fighter schedules are very dynamic and they can be modified quickly and easily. You can use this feature to drag and drop tasks to other days. And you can also use our rebalance feature if you start to fall behind. Obviously, since we just created this schedule, we don't have any overdue tasks. But if we did, they'd show up in this tab. And the beauty of Cram Fighter, if you use the rebalance feature to reallocate your tasks that have fallen behind to future days in your schedule, with one push of a button, Cram Fighter can do that for you. And you don't have to spend all these hours, for example, working on post-it notes or in an Excel schedule or pencil and paper. That's really the beauty of Cram Fighter. We also offer free Android and iOS apps that you can pair with your schedule that you create on cramfighter.com. Visit the Play Store or the iTunes App Store to download your copy. That summarizes how to create a two-month USMLE Step 1 study schedule with Cram Fighter. Thanks for your time, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at contact at cramfighter.com. Thank you.